Okay, great. Well, hey, um, this is Jim T. Chong, the walk star, and uh, we're going to be talking about something really great. We like to walk the talk, so to speak, and also we want to give you great solutions for life. I'm here with the founder and principal of Senior Care of Sacramento, but also somebody that is actually a Reiki, not just a practitioner, but a Reiki master. And so this is, uh, this is very exciting for me for a lot of different reasons. I know Teresa's heart in terms of uh, just the people she takes care of from seniors to, uh, to just the facilities that she works with in the senior community. And Reiki is something that we have talked about recently. I actually uh, know that she had some sort of Reiki event uh, uh, a couple years ago. I remember at her house, I know she's, uh, she's very practiced and uh, really uh, experienced in terms of working with a variety of people. And so I want to present to you again, the one and only Therese Johnson. Therese, how are you doing today? Hi, Jim. Thank you so much. I'm doing wonderful, and I'm so glad to be on right now. This is uh, really a great opportunity to share with people the, the gift of Reiki, which is um, an amazing Japanese healing art form that could really benefit people during these challenging times. Yeah, and you know, Reiki is something I know I don't quite understand. Just let's go back to the basics, not even to Reiki 101, but let's go back to Reiki 00.1. <laughs> what is Reiki? So Reiki, like I said, Reiki is an ancient, ancient Japanese healing art form, and it is basically uh, a healing art form, and it's using our uh, our own energy and the energy in the universe to heal ourselves. And it's something that everybody can learn how to do. We've just forgotten how to do it uh, because of you know, modern medicine, but it, energy medicine was used in um, ancient times and was used by all the, um, actually the, the church used it a lot for um, the bishops were the healers of the, the day back in the day. And that's how they used to heal people. It is a spiritual, uh, considered a spiritual practice, but it heals on a physical, emotional, and mental uh, level. So it's not just for physical healing, although it's most famous for healing pain and back pain in particular, but it, it is great for all kinds of other things. And basically, uh, Reiki is like if, 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 everybody, if you rub your hands together like this, you know, and you create a little static, you feel, and then slowly open your hands, do you kind of feel that static cling? So that's how you can kind of feel that, that static cling that kind okay. of gives you a sense of mm -hmm. that's uh, a sense of kind of what the energy feels like once you learn how to work with it. Um, although we're, it's not static cling we're working with, obviously, but just to give people an, an idea how you can, you can, and, and people that use, there's lots of forms of energy work like Tai Chi and, and that kind of thing. So there's, there, Reiki is just differentiated by a few things, but basically we are just connecting to that universal life force energy and uh, bringing it down in through us and sharing it as a therapist we're just a conduit. So it's a, it's an amazing practice and it's uh, very exciting. I got to tell you. Well, let me ask you, when you talk about energy, for those of us that are unfamiliar with uh, the concept of energy, uh, you know, I think a lot of people, especially in some of the ancient Chinese sort of uh, practices, you know, energy is everything. You know, I saw this one picture about that. When you're referring to energy, are you talking about chi? What, what kind of energy are you talking about? Are you talking about sugar, uh, the, the sugar energy? What kind of energy are you referring to? Yeah, we're, we are talking about chi energy. That's another name for it. And uh, Reiki means the ray of chi, basically. So it's the ray of energy. Uh, and that's what we're referring to and learning how to control and put it to good use for healing. Yeah. Well, you know, with uh, with Reiki and, and just this practice here, you know, with what you've been doing, what made you decide first off just to get involved with Reiki and, you know, what constitutes and makes you a Reiki master? So, um, I can tell you what makes a good Reiki master besides their training. And that's someone who is capable of being selfless. 
because the practice of Reiki requires the Reiki therapist to set aside their ego during treatments and sessions. After, I mean, after all, Reiki is a, is a, is a spiritual practice and the acronym that I like uh, the definition of is ego, which means easing God out. So basically we have right. to be able to set aside our ego in order to be a good Reiki master. And it's so important for masters to be able to do that. Uh, we never claim to be one who does the healing because we're just a conduit and the energy is flowing through us. We are not the ones doing the actual healing. So we never take credit for healing that occurs from our work. And the, um, so that's what I uh, consider a good Reiki master. And that's what I teach in my Reiki classes. And my, and that's what I teach my uh, Reiki students to uh, learn how to become selfless and set their ego aside because in, in a way, it's really a gift because we still get the blessing of the energy as it flows through us when we're uh, working as a therapist and sending the energy to other people. So it heals us on the way through. And it's, it's just an amazing practice and can, because it not only heals us while we're practicing, how wonderful is that? You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. You know, right now, I'd say with everything that's going on, healing is necessary. I know we have several people that are tuned in right now. I want to give a shout out to Teresa Martinez Shapiro and uh, hello to your uh, husband as well. And, you know, uh, you know, I guess she said she's been practicing since 2012. And um, so, and she's been practicing in their clinic full time since 2015. And, you know, basically, um, you know, this is a practice that a lot of people uh, utilize. When I hear it more and more, I wasn't really that familiar with it. Can you tell me in a practical sense, you know, what kind of organizations are adopting Reiki? Um, some people think, you know, Reiki is not real. You know, like even chiropractic services, there was a time where people in the medical community didn't really, um, didn't really respect chiropractic services necessarily as the doctor, you know, the doctor credentialed uh, service. Um, so, you know, in terms of Reiki, you know, maybe you can help us dispel some of the myths uh, if they are myths and also where we can find Reiki uh, utilized, you know, today. Oh, absolutely. So yeah, there's a, a long history of Reiki energy and it did kind of get a stigma and a bad rap. Uh, from, you know, false um, faith healers and that kind of thing over time. And uh, originally when I was talking about the bishops, it used to be their power. That, that was part of like the witch hunt thing that happened mm -hmm. uh, in our culture where when they when the general population started using Reiki energy for healing, they, they didn't want their power being taken away from them. So that's why they started condemning people as witches because they don't want them using energy work and alternative healing holistic methods. So if, if that's how long ago it, it started way back then and got the stigma. But in this day and age, um, it's, it's come, you know, to full fruition and it's much more accepted as an alternative holistic practice. It's being used in cancer clinics. It's being used in hospice uh, clinics as well, because like I said, it's most famous for pain relief. And I have great stories and examples on that that I've done. Um, I'm a hospice volunteer as well, and they call me to go out and do Reiki for hospice patients, which I've done, and I uh, actually have some great articles on the results that I, I got uh, when I published my articles on internationalreiki.org news magazine. They're also on my website at uh, sacramentoreiki.com. But uh, if you want to check those out, they're they're pretty. It's pretty awesome and and great uh, results. So, uh, yeah, it's definitely um, in mainstream, being used for cancer clinics and hospice, and even back in the Midwest in Ohio, uh, some insurance companies uh, were starting to cover uh, and pay for Reiki treatments too, as well. So, uh, certain areas are more prolific than others. You, I I would, I'm the Midwest actually has been more. Um, receptive of Reiki practice than on our California coast, unfortunately, you know, where we think on, in California, we're so, you know, much more in the forefront of things. But in this case, we're a little behind, I think, compared to the Midwest. You know, when, when I think about Reiki, 
I'm learning to respect it. I also have uh, Mary Nicholson that you know is a founder of Healings of Motion. Um, you know, she's also a Reiki master. And I just wanted to ask you, you know, just in terms of the Reiki practice itself, you said they were actually viewed as witches in the past. Uh, yes, the, uh, anything, well, you know that uh, any kind of alternative and holistic medicine has been, there's been a big stigma around it for uh, in the past because of uh, a few people that gave it a bad name, like, you know, the snake oil charmer and the faith healer and that kind of stuff. Well, you know, when, when we look at just a, uh, things society today. I know, I remember um, there, there was a story It's pretty interesting because uh, there were babies that were dying during this period of time, a lot of babies that were dying and they didn't understand why, you know, they tried a lot of different things. And so they were coming up with these different um, um, reasons why they thought it was. And then finally they made a connection that people, the doctors, you know, people, they would deal with all kinds of people, you know, people that have passed away with germs and diseases. Well, they were the same people that were delivering the babies, but they didn't wash their hands or anything necessarily because we didn't understand the concept of germs back then. Exactly. And so, so it's pretty interesting because again, somebody was, was, was mentioning, Hey, you know, there is this thing, you know, who might want to try to do it. Uh, they were actually uh, poo pooed about it. And sure enough, a lot of the deaths um, uh, declined significantly when the doctors just started to wash their hands. I mean, so some things that are commonplace, you know, uh, you know, now they all had a beginning where maybe they weren't generally accepted. Reiki sounds like it could be one of them. You know what I mean? Although it's becoming more in the mainstream, it sounds like there's a lot of good things that are happening in the mainstream because I've heard a lot of great reiki stories and stuff as well right so well, when and it's really important right now and i think it's having a little bit of a revival because of what's going on in our uh on our planet today uh it's really because it's such a an amazing healing therapy and uh technique and tool that we can use we can really benefit from it right now in this day and age because we really need to raise our frequency as human beings on the planet right now to deal with what's happening with the illness, uh, the virus that's being spread. So we, if we can practice these modalities of energy by raising our own energy field and our own energy, it's going to make us healthier. It's going to help us to be stronger, improve our immune system. And it, it's all about healing. That's what the Reiki energy is about. It's a healing energy. And so we, and it has so many talents and abilities to heal us on so many different levels, uh, spiritual, emotional, mental, physical, like I said. So if we can uh, get in tune with the energy and when you first learn it, you always start by using it on yourself. So if we're giving ourselves the Reiki healing energy and raising our vibrations, we all need to raise our vibrations on the planet because with this 5G coming, that's creating a higher frequency on the planet. We need to meet that frequency so that we can remain strong and healthy. And it's so important that we all are, you know, conscious of this and waking up and be aware that we have the power to heal ourselves and and use our own energy that is, and access the universal life force energy to strengthen our own beings. It's just so crucial right now. And that's why I'm focusing more on um, Reiki as a, a, a healing modality for the for human beings right now, because we need it so, so much. And I'm uh, actually taking my focus away a little bit from senior care to focus on Reiki right now, because I feel the calling and the need for this is so dire and crucial for people right now. And especially for my seniors who actually have less experience in education regarding energy work. We really need to help educate them and bring them into the fold, which the, the younger people and the millennials are all about it and much more educated and in tune with energy work. So, we, we have our, uh, our jobs cut out for us in that regard. And um, also I wanted to address, Jim, what you had said. You had asked me how I got involved in, 
in Reiki. And I can tell you back in the nineties, I had my, I was a owner administrator of a state licensed uh, assisted living care home. And the way I got into it was some of my uh, patients, uh, most of my patients were Alzheimer's. I specialize in Alzheimer's dementia as a gerontologist. And uh, with dementia, I had a lot of behavioral problem patients, mm -hmm. but also my regular patients, even I noticed el elderly and senior people who um, generally, they're just, they crave affection and we're so isolated now. And the, uh, the Reiki energy can help give people a sense of love and um, connectedness, which is we really need uh, right now as well, especially with all the isolation that's going on. So it can really help with those feelings of connection. And I, I learned this with my patients in my care home because they were so starved for affection, just, just a hug or put your arm around them. They would just light up, you know, even my dementia patients. It's just a, a natural thing that we all crave and need that, that love and affection. So when I noticed that, I started talking to my sister about it, who's an RN, and she said, oh, you got to check out this Reiki. You'd love it. Come, come visit me. And she lives on the Central Coast. I went down there, and I went to this great um, Reiki event on the weekend, and I it was all nurses and doctors and medical professionals there. So I thought that was pretty interesting. Here's all these medical professionals, and we're in a room. We got like five massage tables set up. And we got one person on the table receiving a treatment and four or five people around them doing hands-on therapy. And I thought, isn't this interesting? All these nurses and doctors, this is how they're treating themselves with this natural holistic remedy. They're not going out to the and getting medications and drugs from the pharmaceutical companies. You know what I mean? And I said, this is awesome. And I was going through a divorce. Okay, it seems like we lost her connection here. But uh, I know she'll be back uh, here shortly. But I think Reiki is one of those things that uh, you need to really think about um, considering. Um, one of the questions I'm going to ask her is just how do um, how do we deal with, uh, um, you know, with, in this environment, how do we uh, integrate in Reiki to increase our immunity system? I know that that is a very important question because right now immunity is what uh, our, our, our body's immunity is uh, our fighting force against the COVID-19. And so we want to be able to make sure that we are taking care of ourselves, being safe and, you know, Reiki, uh, maybe for, maybe not for you. And I'd like to encourage you, if you have any questions, please make a comment. Uh, we'll try to address those. But, uh, but you know, I'd like to see, you know, are you a Reiki fan or not? Do you believe in it or not? I'd love to see some comments on that. And, you know, the whole thing about Reiki is it is a profession that many people do respect. And at the same time, I know I didn't quite understand it. I'm by nature not a uh, what I call woo woo type of person. But the more I got involved with understanding it, and the more of my friends that I found out that practiced it, the more real I saw, saw that it really was. So it, it is something that we need to consider. We need to think about and just be able to uh, to look at more seriously and determine, you know, basically, is it something that can really help us practically? And so health is a big thing nowadays, you know, and, um, you know, as you're out there, I want you to consider how are you trying to be healthy? How are you um, really uh, bettering your own immunity, your own system, you know, perhaps Reiki is one of them. I know that there are, um, there are many sorts of things that they're saying about the COVID-19. Of course, it's not very heat resilient. In other words, it will, I've heard a couple different time frames that it will uh, pretty much the, 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 the uh, virus will die in like 10 minutes or less in heat. And also that is something that we, we just need to be able to, to, um, to, to understand what it is so that we don't have to um, be so uh, stressed about it when we're around it. You know, of course, it is a very serious concern. It is a serious thing to be able to look at and, and consider just what the implications are in terms of, uh, in terms of what, you know, what and how we do things. Um, I know for myself that Reiki 
um, is, is something that I'm just learning about more. Therese Johnson, she also owns Senior Care of Sacramento. She said, putting that aside to do Reiki, she actually does professional placement. She's very busy in placing seniors into the right place to live. So again, a shout out to her and what she's done for me and my dad. But for her to really set aside that business to uh, truly practice Reiki, it doesn't mean she's not still helping people with seniors, but it's really very important to understand that uh, the whole aspect of just, um, just what Reiki can mean mm. for you and Therese, um, I know there's probably some some glitches there. Um, we I, know that the internet is being inundated. Even the IRS, we cannot reach them all the time, which some of us are happy about, right? But but the whole thing is is that I was mentioning how for you to put aside not not totally you're still doing senior care of second month, but really putting a solid emphasis on Reiki says a lot. But one question I have for you that you brought up, it could really help us with our immunity. In what way does it do that? Is it practical? Is it something we can measure? Um, you know, because very, I'm very interested for my own dad and also just I'm sure people are interested if we have something substantial that we know can help us with our immunity. Therese Johnson. Yeah, so uh, a lot of people may not be aware of this, but when you raise your vibration and your energy uh, in your body, it creates a stronger immunity. So that's how Reiki energy can help in that regard. By practicing Reiki and working with your energy, you can it automatically raises your vibrational frequency in your body. And that's how it's gonna strengthen your immune system. In addition, um, I wanna mention that um, Reiki uh, has several other benefits. It's uh, it's very good for relieving stress, tension, and hypertension, as well as uh, anxiety and, and fear, which is rampant right now with uh, all the fear mongering that you know, our media tends to uh, put on us. Uh, intentionally or unintentionally, but hey, but we're the good guys. I want to make it real clear. We're the good guys. Yeah. <laughs> no, yeah. I know we, we are. We're doing education and trying to mm -hmm. uh, counteract a lot of the side effects from all the educational information that that is in and good or good or not good, fake or not fake, whatever uh, that's out there. So, but to we have to have a balance. And so Reiki is really good about cre helping us to create a balance in our, in that, in, and in how we receive all this information. And so it's, it's, a, it's basically very similar to a meditation practice. So, and, and I feel so blessed when I get to pr uh, provide Reiki treatments and sessions for people, because it's like getting paid to do, me to meditate, basically. So how can you not love that? I mean, really, that's just I so want to awesome. get paid to meditate. <laughs> yeah, it's you know? like that's kind of the space you're in, you know, when you're when you're doing a Reiki treatment, you have to be selfless. You have to let the ego go. It's the same thing when you do meditation. You have to, you know, you make your mind blank and you let the natural healing energy come in. It's it's just an awesome, amazing experience, and it's a wonderful. Uh, gift and art form to be able to practice, especially during all this time and, and to help us be healthy and relieve all that stress and anxiety. A lot of people have lost their jobs. And so it's the perfect time to uh, start a practice like this. And, and if you've never made it meditated and you don't know how to do this, this can like really help you to learn that practice as well. You know, when, when people, uh, Kate Song just made a comment, it really does help her uh, stay calmer, you know, uh, just, just, uh, it decreases anxiety, right? Yes. The whole, the whole thing is that she actually, uh, just a shout out to her over there in San Joaquin County with Vibes Up, very good here. And the whole thing is, is that, um, you know, it, it's really good that, that we hear the positive stuff, you know, and, and some people still may be on the fence regarding Reiki itself. What would you suggest to those people that may be on the fence? Yeah, so my brother's one of them, and he thinks, you know, that uh, it would interfere with his, uh, his religious beliefs. But I, I want to say what, uh, so I want to mention what Reiki is not. Reiki is not a religion, culture, belief system. It is, uh, it's not a dogma or a specific doctrine. 
It's not a form of psychic healing. It's not hypnosis or a form of mind control. It's not a psychic surgery technique and it's not a massage technique. And it gets confused a lot of times uh, with these other therapies and belief sim sim systems. So it's not any of those. It's for preventing disorders. It's safe to use. It's um, a technique for activating, restoring and balancing energy, like I said. It's an effective way to create a high level of wellness and reduce the cost of health care. It's a completely self-contained natural healing system. Uh, it's a way to, uh, uh, and it's safe for everyone to use. So anyone who's seeking health, happiness, and a long life, I highly recommend it. You know, with, uh, with the concept of Reiki, some other things here, I think that the, this is a great time. I think with everything that's going on nationally, this is not a small thing. Honestly, when this first came out, okay, I get it. There's some, some sort of virus spreading around. Now we have the coronavirus. It's turned into a very big thing. It's turned really the world upside down, I would say, in terms of how we look at things. Can you imagine just a small thing growing to such a big epidemic, you know, a pandemic, as they say, if you've been keeping up with the news, a lot of things that are happening right now. We also have the 5G towers that are coming up, which is interesting because they were talking about how that really does affect our own personal health and anything we can do to, to balance the odds. I would encourage people to understand it and just uh, just make a decision, but just make it educated and do your own. They, they love to use this word these days, fact check, right? Just fact check. And, you know, I'm not going to argue with somebody else's experience, personal experience and belief system, but I do want to know empirically how true this is. It does sound very viable. I think it's, if it's something that can help my dad, if it's something that can help me, I definitely want to at least explore it. And I think that is the, the great timing for things right now. A lot of people are at home right now. Just uh, if you're watching this, you're probably, you're probably, uh, you've probably got a few moments on your hands. Um, you know, um, we are going to be um, uh, broadcasting this later again, but I wanted to ask Therese, with a lot of things that are happening just, just worldwide with this pandemic and everything, um, you know, as a Reiki master, but more importantly, just as a person, you know, you, you're, you're the founder of Senior Care of Sacramento, you help place seniors. I think that's important. I emphasize that because again, you helped me place my dad in three different places because things, you know, things change, you know, I love where my dad's right out, you know, at right now, shout out to, uh, to, to, um, you know, daybreak over in, uh, Fair Oaks there again, uh, for Carolyn Smith, um, doing a great, I know, I know sometimes we give you a little grief cause we're talking about our dad too, but you know what? The whole thing is reality is I love your facility. I love the fact it's taken care of, but I want to thank you, Therese, because you were able to connect us with the right people every time it's been batting a thousand in terms of this. I say that because it is a personal thank you because you're dealing with my dad personally, but also as you deal with seniors, it tells your heart. It is not an easy industry to deal with. And I know that Reiki can help a lot of people, especially an older now who have a, a, a immune system that could be compromised or weaker, right? And so I just want to ask again, what is your message to the world right now concerning what is happening and dealing with the pandemic? Well, and um, well, real quick, I just want to finish my answering my other question that I started with. You said about your dad and how we can help them and learning how to help them. And that's what I learned when I first started, which was over 20 years ago. I started, I became a Reiki master in 2001 and I've been practicing for 20 years and teaching all three levels of Reiki. And uh, giving treatment. So when I started with my patients in my care home and with my dementia patients, and we were able to eliminate with a combination of uh, another therapy called validation therapy that works tremendously well with dementia patients, but combining that therapy with Reiki, we were able to eliminate behavioral problems such as wandering, paranoia, and it made life so much nicer for the residents in the care home. And that's what got me all excited. And I started publicizing my articles about treating Alzheimer's with Reiki and hospice and Reiki. And then on my website, you can also see another article about all the amazing results that I've had with some of my most incredible um, results on certain uh, diagnoses and patients, people that came to me for relief. It, it's so amazing what the energy can heal. 
and we really have no control over it. It's, uh, it's a divine healing energy. So it knows where to go, what to do, and what each individual person needs at the time. So if, you, if you're checking in to, with the energy force, it, it may, may not go to what you think it should go to because it wants to go to heal the cause, not the symptom. But generally, if it's a pain symptom, it will go to that first because it's hard to heal if you're in pain. So we'll heal pain first. But if you're not in pain and you're just and you're checking in for some other health reason, which we're all dealing with right now, especially the fear and the anxiety, it will calm all uh, that so uh, well. It it's like it's just amazing. And I think if if it, and also it will, like I said, raise your frequency, which is the most important thing that we all need to do is raise our frequency, strengthen our immune systems right now. And this is an ideal technique to learn to do on yourself and for your family members to do that. It's just really incredible. Wow. Well, well, there's a lot. I, I know I educate, uh, I was educated, I, you know, I've been able to, again, work with you on, on our, our other radio show that, that I had on Money 105.5 FM in Greater Sacramento. And we've shared some great moments just talking about how to really take care of people on a senior level. And now you're really breaking out, breaking it out and, and really talking about Reiki. Um, and I know you're very passionate about it. Thank you. You're making me a believer for sure. And so any final thoughts here before we conclude? I would just like to invite people to go to my website, uh, sacramentoreiki.com and check it out. Re check out some of my articles. And as well, I uh, would like everyone to know that I have uh, an excellent book that can be very helpful, especially in these uh, trying times called Saving Senior Savings. Best Kept Secrets on How to Pay for Senior Services. Uh, it's a number one bestseller on Amazon under aging and elder care. And if anyone would like to schedule an appointment for a Reiki treatment, I'm happy to, to do that. If you would like to try it, it's usually a 45 minute treatment. And you can call me at 530-305-8872. And I'd be happy to schedule a treatment for anyone that would be interested in. Uh, and we can do it long distance. We don't have to do it in person, which is really nice since we're all not able to meet face to face and it's amazing how well it works i've even had some clients tell me that they like the long distance treatments and feel that they're even stronger than the in-person treatments so that's pretty, that's pretty I off of that to anyone who's uh really needing it especially if you're really suffering with anxiety and fear or uh, any other kind of health issues right now Right. So visit sacramentoreiki.com. That's spelled R-E-I-K-I, sacramentoreiki.com. Find out a little bit more about this incredible uh, form, healing form. And also, I just want to thank you, Therese Johnson, um, you know, of Senior Care of Sacramento, really providing placement opportunities for seniors, but also a Reiki master. And so with that, um, I would love to hear any comments as you view this. Um, I want to let you know that uh, we are very excited for just presenting you great content globally. And of course, they are cut here and on other channels, but you will see them on the upcoming media and news channels channel uh, that is on YouTube. And so we'll, we will actually start posting it here as well in the preview, but also mediatnewschannel.com. You can go ahead and go there as we uh, provide the launch in a few weeks. And if, if you have a story to tell, please contact me because we really want to be able to support people in this uh, very special time here as well. So um, as you are thinking about just what is going on here, it's a great time to reflect some of the positives. Pollution is a lot less because a lot less people are driving. Actually, crime rate is lower because people are waiting for people to leave their house to, to break in and they're not able to do that anymore. <laughs> no, in all sincerity, crime rate is lower. And then also think about it. This is an incredible time for you to really do a self-assessment. What's really important to you? For the first time, I see people using social media to truly reach out, to connect with people, you know, people you don't know, but more important, people you do know. I have one suggestion. As you're out there, take one person a day, make that call, make that text, tell them why you appreciate them. 
Do it for 30 days, it becomes a habit. Can you imagine having your phone flooded with messages and comments about why people appreciate you? Because you never know the storm that some of you might be going through. Again, introduce them perhaps to Reiki and a Reiki master like Therese Johnson. This is Jim T. Chong, the walk star, and I am along with the incredible... Teresa Johnson. <laughs> Senior Care of Sacramento and Reiki Master. Take care. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.